miles. Turn left on East Mariposa Way. Hey folks, Crazy Marty here. We are out here in uh, Shitsville, let's just say that, once again. And uh, we're doing generator refueling and generator deployment for storm, uh, storm not rescue, uh, uh, storm, uh, st anyways, they're losing power out here at cell towers, so I'm going out here and refueling generators and hooking them up and making 911 work again. So, anyways, uh, let's see what this first tower looks like. Yeah. All right, so here we come to the first one that's located up there on their windmill. And they got dogs. Great. This ought to be fun. All right, so here we are, first generator, and all we gotta do is fill up this thing. It's a 190 gallon fuel tank, and uh, fill it up and go to the next one. Drivers in California are so bad, they put up signs that say, severe weather, avoid travel till Thursday night. Well, looks like the storm kind of came up around here a little bit but you never know where you're gonna wind up with on this job so here we are in Half Moon Bay okay folks so it's day number three and uh, we're walking up to another cell tower site which is up here of course, why am I walking when I could be driving, especially if I have to deliver diesel? Luckily, this is just a sight check. But uh, yeah, they didn't, my truck is down there. They didn't plan on me uh, coming up here on a weekend, I guess, because you're supposed to pick up a key from the Sheriff's Department, which is only open Monday through Friday. The contractor's help desk is open Monday through Friday. So you gotta go from way down there and this is some steep, steep hill all the way up, around up to here. Oh, goodness gracious. Some battery back up. Not working. I have no idea. Transmitters, we got transmitters there. And power, power supplies. That's some old telephone stuff there. These must be the backup power supplies. but we're not going to that one. We're going to that one, I think. I don't know. Let's figure it out now. All right, so once again, we're, we're walking up to a cell tower. Truck is down there somewhere. I gotta go way up there. I don't know if you can hear me because it's really, really windy. Okay, this is the tower that I'm at. There's another one that's over there. And there's another one over there. So I got three to choose from off of the same road. I'll head to them all. This one that I'm at had a white gate down there, so we'll figure it out. Okay, I've made it up to site number three today, I think it is. And you can hear the noise of that thing because it's really really windy up here they're supposed to get like 60 to 80 mile an hour gusts 
so it's gonna get interesting up here. Uh-oh. Why is that not going into position? Gonna call that one in. And the snow is starting to stick. So we've driven down this lovely dirt road until we run into gates. And I hope that this is the right place. They got a bunch of locks to choose from. Okay, so after disassembling 10 pounds of locks. Continue on road 8053 for seven miles. <laughs> now we got the gate to open. Will it stay? Oh yeah. Never a dull moment. One drink. Another drink. Yeah, somebody had fun cutting their way up to this one. I've probably been past ten trees already that have been down across the road, but at least somebody else had to cut them and not me. Got lots of these little little slide outs here that we're going through. Oh yeah, this, this whole thing's ready to come down. Not cool. Looks like others have been up here though. All right, so this is fun. Now we have to uh, get extracted because every movement, it goes further down the hill. So yeah, some uh, real snotty stuff up here. All right, so we are out now. Finally, somebody came by. I was all the way down there, five feet from the fence. Luckily, there was a power line worker that didn't decide to helicopter out. So we have commercial power up at the site now. Gotta go up and fill the generator. <laughs> Apparently, is they swapped uh, the generator breaker with the main breaker so they could have generator power. So then we had to swap back the generator breaker and the main breaker back around to give them power so they could run off of the uh, commercial power. And then we went up into, did the Esparto challenge, I guess you could say, because that was up out of Esparto. I got went up the hill and it just went, it went sideways and off the hill and that was it got uh, unstuck out of there. Luckily there was a guy that was coming down and it just pulled the power lines up there and it strung all new power lines via a helicopter and he decided he was going to come down in his pickup, in the pickup truck and not the helicopter. So I got lucky there and didn't have to wait for somebody else to try to come up there and get pulled out. So now let's see what today has. So today's been fairly easy. Uh, filled up one generator, which I'm back at that site now. And then uh, went, checked out another one to make sure it was full. That one's done. Then came back to this site and turned this one off and turned it to commercial power. So now we have lights on in the building. Yay. Good to go. Alrighty, now we're down here in the lovely little town of Pacifica where everybody has basically the same little hunk of junk house built back in the 70s and the 60s 
but they're worth about a million five now each from something that cost oh I think like five grand originally that it back into this hole over here hey it's the end of the day and we're working our way back to Sacramento at a really high speed Alrighty folks, there you go. So there you have it. That's what we do when the storms hit and we get deployed to go out and save your 911 system and everything else. In the meantime, I'm Crazy Marty. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, the bell notification or the notify me thing, whatever they did. So, right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.